No matter which way you put it and no matter what your goals are, there is just no denying it. Having higher testosterone levels is always a good thing. Actually, I would say, the higher the better. But this is not something society wants to teach young boys about, so very few people actually know about this. Instead, we teach our children only about other aspects of their health, like cardiovascular health or stomach health. Do not get me wrong. These aspects of your health are extremely important as well and should never be neglected. But having optimal testosterone levels is absolutely crucial to your overall well-being as a man, especially in the world we live in today. The way we process and package the foods we eat, along with our sedentary lifestyle, has caused the testosterone levels of the average man to drop dramatically. Men are more feminine today than they have ever been before. Therefore, you must make a conscious decision to take care of your testosterone levels as best as you can. In this video, I will give you some less known ways to increase your testosterone levels. I will not include weightlifting or getting proper sleep on the list since I am pretty sure that everyone knows this by now. But let's get into it. Number seven cool your balls. You might have heard of this one before and there is a good reason for this. This is a very easy to do but effective way to increase testosterone levels. Inside your testicles are the Leydig cells. It is inside these cells that testosterone is produced and these cells require a lower temperature than the rest of the body in order to function optimally. This is why your balls are located in a sack outside of your body. But when men wear underwear and tight pants, they increase the temperature of their balls and also put pressure on them, which also is not a good thing. So if you can, try not to wear underwear, wear loose-fitting pants, sleep naked, take cold showers daily, and even ice your balls. Number six, eat more saturated fats. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, when teaching our children about health, we are overly focused on things like cardiovascular health. As a result, Cholesterol and saturated fats have been demonized in many people's eyes, and we have always been taught to avoid them, since it will put you at risk of things like heart attacks. But they got this all wrong. It is not saturated fats that put you at risk of heart disease. It is large consumption of carbohydrates, especially sugar. This is what caused the epidemic of obesity and the rising numbers of people who suffer from heart attacks. Saturated fats have nothing to do with it. In fact, cholesterol is the very building block of testosterone, and with increased intake of saturated fats comes increased cholesterol levels, which in turn leads to increased testosterone levels. Excellent sources of these nutrients can be things like whole eggs, beef and pork, shrimp, cheese and meat in general. Number five, supplementation. Many people think that supplements like testosterone boosters and the like is a huge scam. I am here to tell you otherwise. It is not a scam. They work. In fact, there are so many supplements out there that you can use, and when you combine them, while also combining them with a lifestyle that promotes high testosterone levels, you will feel absolutely invincible. I'm going to give you an extensive list of supplements that you can use to increase your testosterone levels. Please note that most testosterone boosters already contain multiple of these ingredients. But when you are looking for a testosterone booster, look for one that contains these ingredients. You might still have to buy some of them separately. Here is the list. Zinc, magnesium, vitamin B6, vitamin D, aspartic acid, fenugreek, selenium, maca root, ginseng, ashwagandha, shilajit, fish oil, regular multivitamins, and last but certainly not least, creatine. If you consume all of these supplements on a daily basis, I will guarantee you that you will feel the difference. Number four, win. If you want to become a high value man, you need to win. It doesn't have to be in sports. It can be in many aspects of life. It could be finally getting that promotion on your job that you have been working hard to get. It could be landing a date with an attractive girl. It could be hitting a new PR at the gym, or it could be facing and overcoming one of your deepest fears. The main thing is that you attempt to do hard things, that you challenge yourself, and that you win. It has been scientifically proven that when a man experiences a big win, his testosterone levels increase dramatically. Sure, winning is never a guarantee, but that is why when you lose, you get up and you try again. If you keep doing this, the wins will come. Number three, reduce stress. 
when you experience a stressful situation, your body will increase production of your main stress hormone, cortisol. This is a good thing in the short term. But if you are chronically stressed, it will massively damage your testosterone levels. This is because there is an inverse relationship between testosterone and cortisol. The higher the cortisol, the lower the testosterone. This is why, when men suffer from chronic stress for longer periods of time, they start to gain weight and they lose their sexual desire. Ways to reduce your cortisol levels include things like meditating daily, breathing through your nose, getting adequate sleep, remembering to take rest days from the gym, reducing caffeine intake, positive self-talk, and also taking some of the supplements that I mentioned earlier in the video. Number two, avoid plastics. In the world we live in today, nearly all the food we eat are packaged in plastic. This is extremely convenient, but there is a huge downside to this. Plastic contains chemicals called phthalates that research have found to decrease testosterone levels and increase estrogen levels. This is part of the reason why testosterone levels continue to decline, why young boys hit puberty later and young girls hit puberty earlier. We are exposed to so many chemicals and they do indeed disrupt our hormonal balance. This is not natural, so you should make an effort to avoid plastic packaging for your food. And even more importantly, if you have sons, you must limit their exposure to plastic, since it will only have negative effects on their development. Number one, no fap. This is it, the absolute pinnacle of testosterone boosting practices that you can use. I was skeptical about including this on the list because it absolutely deserves an entire video on its own, but that will come. This time I will try to keep it short. You need to understand that you will be able to find research that shows that NoFap doesn't actually increase testosterone. That is because just abstaining from playing with yourself doesn't raise testosterone in and of itself, at least not for longer periods of time. This is more about the lifestyle that comes with being on NoFap. You, as a man, have huge sexual energy inside you. When you retain this energy instead of wasting it by playing with yourself like a pathetic loser, you can use this energy to achieve things beyond your wildest imagination. It is this increase of energy and firepower that will eventually lead to an increased level of testosterone because it will increase your sense of self-worth. It is similar to the way that winning increases your testosterone levels. It is not a direct effect of not playing with yourself. It is everything that can come along with it that will increase your testosterone levels. Of course, it will be hard to find research to actually support this, but there is no need. Once you have been on no fap for a sufficient amount of time, there will no longer be any doubt in your mind. You need to witness this for yourself, for it is truly beautiful. That's it for today's video, brothers. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.